Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can define data types in Angular. See, defining data type, this is not a core feature of Angular. This is the core concept and feature of TypeScript. Then why we are learning this in Angular? See, in Angular internally we use TypeScript. We know that. That's why we use classes there and uh, our file extension is also .ts. That .ts means TypeScript. And this is the reason why we need to define uh, data types for variable, properties, function parameters, functions and event and all. Okay, next question you can ask there. So should we learn TypeScript before starting to the Angular? The answer is if you know TypeScript, even basic TypeScript, that's good. If you don't know, then don't worry. In this series, we will cover basic TypeScript also, which is required to learn Angular. So don't worry about TypeScript in this series. Okay, so first of all, I let you know uh, why we need to define data types and then we'll see how we can define data type for properties and see one more thing defining types and defining data types this is the same thing there is a no difference okay so after that we'll see how we can define multiple types for properties how we can define types for function parameter and variable and we'll also see how we can call a function with the params on button click and at last we'll discuss some important interview question also okay so now let's understand first question why we need to define uh, data types see uh, defining data types means we want to tell the variable like what kind of data we want to store there in this example here we have a name variable and its data type is string here you can see that and that's why we are able to store the string value so if we define their number or boolean uh, data type then we cannot store uh, the string value there and either we cannot update uh, the other type of uh, values also and that's why it help us to store the uh, errors also which is related to the data type for example here you can see that we have a name property right and it's uh, you can see the data type is string there and we are defining the string value so if I try to store there uh, some numeric value let's say 30 then you will see we are getting a error like type number is not assignable to type string because this is the number right and again if I just store there Siddhu then it will perfectly working fine and uh, one more say so let's say I have a, an, another function and function name is let's say apple right and then if I update this 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 dot name with the let's say Anil Siddhu right then that is fine there's a no issue but if I just update uh, with some other value let's say with 100 then again I will get the error why because this variable is expecting the string value only not numeric value and when you have large amount of code this kind of errors will help us to uh, save from the errors because this will tell that you cannot store some other values like you cannot store their boolean array and all it's there should be only uh, string values that's why we define uh, the data types in the angular even with the react and Vue.js, we also using we started using the TypeScript also this will help us developer to uh, catch the error earlier okay next question is I'm talking about two things first one is property second one is variable so what is the difference between variable and property see when we are defining a class and directly in the class we cannot uh, define the variable so if I just put there var you you can see that we are getting an error if I just put there let again we'll get error if I just put their const again we will get an error here you can see that a class member cannot have the const uh, keyword right so def with, uh, defining something uh, which is storing the value and we are not putting their variable constant literal is a property or you can say that uh, in classes to store the data we basically use properties but then where we can define variables in the TypeScript inside the function so this is a, we have function and let's say if you just put there x uh, let x equal to 30 this is the actually a variable okay so i hope you got the difference between property and variable there nice okay so uh, let's see that how we can define the data type for a property first so here you can see that we have a name property and we can define data type for this so let's say we have the another property uh, its values let's say data and you want to store the data there with the number let's say number then uh, if i just put there let's say a b anil let's say then it will show you a error so what we can do that we can store only the uh, numeric value there and let's say 
वी हैव द अनदर वेरिएबल इज यूजर लॉग इन और समथिंग एंड इट्स वैल्यू शुड बी बुलियन ओनली इट शुड बी ट्री और फॉल्स एंड इफ आई जस्ट ट्राई टू पुट देयर थर्ड थर्टी देन इट विल गिव एरर वी कैन ओनली पुट देयर ट्रू एंड फॉल्स ओनली राइट सो दिस इज द वे दैट हाउ वी कैन डिफाइन द डेटा टाइप्स फॉर द यूजर्स अ डेटा टाइप फॉर द प्रोपर्टीज बट देर इज सम इशू सो लेट से विद द डेटा आई जस्ट असाइन थर्टी देयर बट मे बी समाइम आई नीड टू असाइन देयर सम स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल बिकॉज दिस इज डेटा डेटा कैन बी कैन बी एनी थिंग सो इफ हैव देयर डेटा एंड आई वॉन्ट टू स्टोर देयर सम स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू ए बी सी देन दिस इज शोइंग एरर लाइक हाउ वी कैन फिक्स दिस देन यू कैन डिफाइन द मल्टीपल डेटा टाइप फॉर द वेरिएबल ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल विद द पाइप आई कैन मैंशन दियर स्ट्रिंग नाउ यू विल सी देर इज अ नो एरर एट ऑल ओके सो अगेन सो लेट से वी हैव अ वन मोर वेरिएबल एंड इट्स नेम इज इन्फो and by default info has string value and i'm just putting there there is some data or info like this right like this this is perfectly working fine but again in the function i have to change uh, its value maybe numeric or boolean so let's say in this info maybe i want to assign numeric value then what i need to do if i just put there 100 we can define one more data type there which is a uh, number now let's say after just some code i found that i have to assign there dot boolean value right this dot info is equal to true right then okay we can define one more data type there boolean like this that's fine but after just some code again i have to define one more data type this dot info is let's say array then how we can fix it so should be mentioned there array in that scenario that scenario you can simply mention there any any means any kind of data we can store in the this info property all right i hope you understand this okay so one more thing so when we are hovering over the name here you can see that its property is string if i just move the data this is telling string and number for the user login this is showing boolean and for info this is showing in uh, any so what if i have one more variable uh, let's say contact uh, i have one more property right and its value i'm just directly putting there abc at the rate test.com let's say this is email not contact email right i haven't defined any data type there but still this is working fine and if i just hover this is showing the string reason being see typescript is smart enough if we don't define data type there and uh, then we are defining some value that time it will automatically get the data type from the value so we know that we are using the double quotes there uh, in starting and end that means this is a string so email uh, property will automatically uh, understand its data type string but again if some uh, there if i just try to update this this dot email and i will try to put there some other value it will not accept because it get the data type the data type from the first uh, value which is the string so its data type by default is string we cannot uh, add it, uh, some other kind of uh, data there all right so what we learned there what is the default data type of a property and then how we can define a single data type multiple data type how we can define any we learned these things so now let's say uh, you can say that we have one function there let's say function name is we know that when we define function in angular we cannot use function keyword there right so let's say i have the handle sum i have this variable or let me put there sum only right and there we have two values a and b and we will console them console dot log a plus b but there is a error the error is here you can see that parameter a implicitly has any data type that means we have to define the data type there so when we want to add something so that means we will define the data type number so let me put there number only right and now it will perfectly work fine so let's see how we can call it on the function click so here you can see that for now there is no button so let me define a button let me put there sum and on click we can call this function 
and we have to, to pass two values also so I'm passing there 10 and 20 the output should, should be 30 so let me inspect there because this will show the value on the console right so if I just click over there here you can see that we are getting the 30 and if I just mention there 100 then it will, it will show 120 this is perfectly working fine okay but let's say if I just pass there a nil value and I'll save it will show error there because see there its value is not uh, numeric and we mentioned there it should be numeric number value only right so again it will show the error okay so now the last thing is uh, how we can define the variables we know that x let x equal to 10 and by default uh, it will take the data type from this type of this value but let's see if you want to define still there is a same way number or if you want to define multiple data type then the, you can say that number and string if you want to define any it will still work fine there will be no issue so this is the how we can define data type to the variables to the properties and to the function parameter if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section please like this video share your feedback in uh, comment section subscribe my channel this is my paytm and gpay donation number thanks guys